Hi everyone, June 3rd, 2019. I have so much information that I really want to share with you. It's all pertaining to the flooding, but it's impossible because there's so much. So right now I'm just going to show you, yeah, in the last 24 hours, more towns have been taken over by water forcing people to evacuate. It's unbelievable what is taking place. And I swear, you know, the psychopathic nut jobs gave the order, destroy. Just bring it on. We have got to get our new world order in place. And sorry for the interruption. Oh my God, so much is happening, guys. So much is happening to, to subscribers who are really feeling the effects of this New World Order. That's going to be a video. So much happening right here in South Carolina. And I have to tell you, the heat is so... I don't know what the hell is going on with this heat, boy. I have experienced a lot of bizarre symptoms. That's another video. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of videos in mind and I just can't seem to get it together. Well, that's a symptom of all of the poisons that we are inundated with. Oh, poisons, that's right. Actually, let me start with this article. Guardian, the Guardian. So much land under so much water. Extreme flooding is drowning parts of the Midwest. And what do they talk about? They talk about the farmers getting destroyed. It feels like we've been getting rained on for two months, just practically nonstop. And again today, it's nonstop. That comes from a 57-year-old American civil servant. Doesn't matter where he is. Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, Nebraska, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, because all of those states are getting destroyed. Oh, Sand Springs, Oklahoma. Sand Springs underwater. Driving tens of thousands into shelters, shutting businesses and closing interstate highways, millions of acres of farmland and devastating the planting season. season. The worst hit states include Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, and India. And I would say you're missing out Missouri and Oklahoma. Oh, right. And so many areas of Texas. And oh, right. South Dakota and Minnesota. And right. Michigan. Uh, Oh, and New York? Well, get ready. Upstate New York. Flooding is estimated to have destroyed $1 billion worth of crops and livestock. Oh, it's over that amount, I'm quite sure. Uh, entire towns have been engulfed. That's right. And there are so many people in need, so many animals suffering and dying. And guess what? It's brought to you deliberately, intentionally, to do please do a little bit of research on weather modification, geoengineering, and then you might be able to understand what is going on. No, nope, not Mother Nature. No, nope, not climate change. But, you know, the reason why I was thinking, ugh, I'm not going to include this. You know, I, I mean, I've posted on so many farms going down and all of the flooding. But then I just went to the bottom. You know, I was trying to see the pictures, uh, wanting to see the pictures. And I just thought, these pictures don't really uh, show you much. They don't give you a really good idea of the massive flooding. But then I came across this. <laughs> Toxic America. Is modern life poisoning us. This is a paper in the UK. Toxic America. Weed killer in your breakfast cereal. Contaminated drinking water. Carcinogenic chemicals in your furniture. 
Americans are routinely exposed to dangerous chemicals that have long been banned in countries such as UK, Germany, and France. Of the 40,000 40, chemicals used in consumer products in the U.S., according to the EPA, only 1% have been tested for human safety. Yeah! With support from our readers, The Guardian aims to raise 150000 for a six-month project on how these levels of toxicity are impacting our lives. Whose lives? Your lives or American lives? Well, I can tell you. Give me that 150000 I'll tell you how it's affecting our lives. It's destroying life here in the great U.S. of A. <laughs> Examine the power of the $640 billion chemical industry, which has a lobby that's currently better funded than the NRA. <laughs> NRA. Oh, God. Yeah, toxic America. That's what we are now. Toxic America. Great. So, um, let's go back to the flooding. Oh, and these waters are toxic. Think about all of the fertilizers and pesticides and all the chemicals that these farmers use. And now it's saturating all of these rivers and lakes and all over. Here, Winfield, Missouri. roads <clears throat> are closed in Missouri and this is the St. Louis area. This goes on for two hours. Two hours. Our fellow Americans are suffering, guys. Suffering a lot of loss. Loss is hard, very painful. It's really, people are voting to get to places. I, and when you hear my little, uh-huh, it's not laughing. It's like, um, I mean, it's beyond heartbreaking what's happening today. It's so devastating. It's beyond anything that I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot in the eight years, you know, that I've been posting. It's... Uh, Worcester in, in uh, Arkansas. 
call it devastating. They've experienced flooding before, but now this is what their homes look like from an aerial view right here behind me. They're praying the river is going to return to normal soon. This is the routine for Todd Patton and his family. Before he takes us down what used to be Patton Road in Wooster. Well, I've lived here my whole life and I've, I've seen it over that road three times. About a half an mile later, we arrive at his house. I grew up on this creek right out here. I've seen it out of its banks a thousand times, but, you know, nothing ever like this. This basketball goal and even their swimming pool. You see this stuff all the time on TV, but you don't think it'll ever happen to you. Surrounded by 40 inches of flood water from the Arkansas River. Here we are. You know, it, it happened to us. This photo shows what it looks like from a bird's eye view. I mean, we've worked so hard. Trying to get this out of the house. They started building this wall around the home with help from the community. A bunch of people showed up and we just went to moving blocks. It took about five hours. They've also moved thousands of sandbags. For three or four days, we have been re sandbagging and sandbagging on top of sandbags. And using these generators for an extra layer of protection. Oh, we don't have flood insurance. Um, and we're just trying to keep it out of the house. With more long days ahead, the Pattons are hoping it will soon be over. Never. Oh, boy. You know, as I was listening to her, I thought, oh, I'm sorry. But you know what? You can work and work and work and work until you are just crawling every single day. You can work yourself to death. But if a psychopathic, narcissistic, evil person wants to destroy you, huh, you can just sit down because they don't stop at anything. Dreamed that it would be anything like this. Now the Never dreamed it would be anything like this. How many of you are living life now? a life that you never dreamed it would be like this. Oh, I know a lot of my subscribers that I talk to certainly have said that. I've said it. Here, uh, Winfield, Missouri. Um, Don't do it. Don't do it. That was on the other video. I will link below to everything. So if you want to check out the entire, you know, watch the entire video, just click on the link below. Lincoln County, Missouri. <laughs> Where did all the animals go? Where did all the wildlife go? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, this should be land, not water. Land, not water. Now I thought the flooding of the farmland in Missouri in 2011 was 
something that I, I couldn't imagine ever seeing again, the massive scale of flooding due to the Army Corps of Engineers. This is the, the, this puts what I saw in 2011, it was like a walk in the park, 2011. So yeah, they have accelerated their agendas of destruction. And it's, this isn't over. It's not over, guys. Yeah. It's not over. Do not think that this is not going to happen to you. Do not think that you are, you know, special and you're going to be saved and um, it's not coming in some form to you. It is. Foley, Missouri. KSDK, this is Foley. And don't think just because you have insurance, you're going to be made whole. So I haven't heard one person made whole by their paying decades worth of premiums. Don't even uh, think that your insurance company won't go bankrupt and geez sorry but we don't have any more money too much flooding has occurred and you know hey it's climate change we're living a time of new normal and sorry didn't mean to screw you but you're screwed Many homes here in Weber's Falls were underwater in the flooding. Now you can see how high the water got. This watermark here in this home at least five feet high. And after nearly two weeks of standing water, this is what homeowners are dealing with now. Thick, sticky mud with a strong odor is all over Marlene and Andy's home. They showed us inside where their refrigerator and a big grandfather clock were knocked over. Not far away in their living room, there's damaged furniture from the floods. And you can even see mold starting to grow on the walls. The images are devastating for this married couple who was living here on their retirement. Marlene says they used up their savings to fix this home up six years ago. And it was all gone in a matter of days. And we thought that was it on the furniture until we die. You know, we're up there, I'm 65, 70 years old. We don't know what's going to happen in these next few years to our health. Outside their home, the garage still stands beneath several feet of water from the Arkansas River. We have video we took 13 days ago of the garage standing on the other side of their backyard. The flood waters were so strong, they moved the whole structure. And they're not alone. Their neighbors are also dealing with the same monumental destruction. Marlene and her husband Andy tell me now they're going to deal with insurance and apply for federal assistance. Reporting in Weber's Falls, did some. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Okay, so now, what do you do in the immediate aftermath of this? The waters recede, your home is unlivable, it will need to be gutted. You'll have to take care of that mold. You have nothing. You've lost everything. And how many Americans have the finances to put themselves up in a hotel room? To And look, when you suddenly are displaced, you'll get to know that saving money is just impossible. And the outlays 
that occur suddenly just deplete your savings. Um, it's so expensive. Uh, the emotional toll of all of this leaves you feeling like you might feel that you know adrenaline in the immediate afterward aftermath and you just keep going and you keep going and keep going you're in survival mode um, but that survival mode oh it doesn't stop it goes on and on and on these people 65 70 years old living on their retirement income I hope to God that they have family that are compassionate and caring and loving. They're close and they're going to be helped out. But you know what? An awful lot down. What do these people do? What do they do? Oof, man. This was sent to me by a subscriber, National Archives and Records, and I have to tell you, this is... Uh, really a great time lapse of unnatural frequency fried clouds. <laughs>45 minutes away from Lake Ontario. Now, you know, I've seen clouds here and we don't get any flooding or even any rain. But all I'm showing you, and this is a great capture, what I'm showing you here is the, 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 it's man's hand. All you have to do is look up and you can see, ah, well, man is doing something to our manufactured clouds. And when you begin to understand that, okay, it's unnatural up there, and what we are now looking at with our weather is rather, hmm, well, they're calling it a new normal. Is it really a new normal, or is it an unnatural, artificial happening caused by the technology that man has to... Um, used for weather modification and uh, all of the geoengineering. God, don't you wish that people would start thinking? Oh, I sure do. I really, really do. So, here. Flooding devastates south and midwest. Morning, historic floodwaters are ravaging more communities throughout the South, the Plains, and the Midwest. In Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the river has crept up to rooftops. Some neighborhoods are under mandatory evacuation orders. It's crazy. I mean, you, you just can't really explain it. We toured Fort Smith on the western edge of the state, where the floodwaters have been relentless. For I have to stop this. Sorry for the interruption. It's crazy. I, I, I just can't explain this. Yeah, you can't explain it because you're ignorant. And that's not an insult. And you're ignorant in terms of your knowledge about weather modification and geoengineering, which explains it. 
days. It's been huge and it's going to continue to be huge because, you know, once this water finally gets out of here, um, people are going to start trying to rebuild and clean up and, and so we're going to be dealing with this probably all summer. Right no, here, the Arkansas River crested at a... For a couple of years. All summer, you'll be dealing with it for a couple of years. Now, maybe her home is not flooded out, but all the people, all the farmers, they will be dealing with it for several years. Uh, but next year, will you get flooded again? How about at the end of the summer, will they bring, up, uh, bring upon more flooding? This is nonstop. This, unfortunately, these people, you know, <laughs> if you think that this is just going to be a one-time occurrence, you're very, very wrong. A record 40.8 feet spilling into about 500 homes. The water, it was right up on top of these. Then Gossi is cleaning up after the water seeped into his riverside home. You see the trees over there? That's the river. The rest of that's yard, those trees right there. That's an crazy amount of water. Yeah, it's insane. The heartache not over yet. Severe weather and hail hammering parts of New Mexico and Texas overnight. After weeks of torrential rain, nearly 300 river gauges across several states are at flood stage, forcing evacuations in Missouri, flooding part of Burlington, Iowa, and breaching this levee in Arkansas. How tough is it to look at this with so much water? Well, it's heartbreaking. It's got awful because we didn't have time to get all of our furniture out. Everything's still in there uh, until we can get in, see what it's like. We have no idea what's destroyed. <clears throat> this it is was what, January. Oh, sorry. This is what I tens of thousands of your fellow Americans. This is what they are living. My my computer is just a joke. Tropical system brewing in the Gulf could pose threat to parts of the United States. Yep, more rain coming, more rain coming, and they're claiming it's starting in the Gulf, and, well, you can't see much here on this radar, but I've been capturing what's been going on with this radar, and they seem to have lifted some of the frequencies from these storms here, Oklahoma, Kansas, Bitten, Missouri, and Iowa. So, you know, what do we have here? We've got a whole lot of high frequency heating. So I guess this is the storm that they're talking about that's coming upon Texas and then moving on up. That's right. Central Plains. The high frequency heating. Look at this. Let me just go to Radar, College of DuPage, and I have no doubt we will see some of man's hand. Yes, we sure do. So let me just slow it down. For those of you who don't know, the Doppler radar signatures, the high frequency heating, that is the very defined circular line intersecting right here, well, they can bring about storms. Yes, I have a playlist. Don't write, you're an idiot, um, and you provide no evidence. I've been providing evidence for eight years. Go to my channel, weather modification playlist, geoengineering playlist. Learn, please. The extremely low frequency is being set off right down here. Okay, so you see right here the fanned out um, lines. You see the straight edged line right here, right here, and then the circular pattern. You just have to look carefully and you'll see them in every single storm now. Look at all these lines, 
high frequency hitting it right here. It's really a shame that people do not understand that they are being deliberately destroyed. Deliberately destroyed Alberta, the wildfires, thousands in northwest Alberta put on evacuation alert as wildfires grow. The high level area, they have returned to their home, but these fires in Alberta continue on. And I just. A few homes have been destroyed, but nothing like Fort McMurray fire uh, yet. Alberta wildfires surpass over 700,000 acres. And I don't, I saw this headline Montana hot shots going up to Alberta to help them fight the fires in Alberta. You've got multiple wildfires. And you know what, guys? There's going to be a lot of wildfires, I think, this. Oh, here I still have that article open. Oh, and I, okay, well, I don't want to uh, turn off my ad blocker, but Montana hotshots. Yeah, things are not good, all right? Yeah, they're really just uh, unbelievable. And you know what? More flooding to come.